Eyes on the board. Morning, gentlemen. Morning. Expanding. Three and then brackets. If there are no operations written between three and the bracket, what is the sign there? Is it a plus? Is three being added or subtracted? What is the sign there? It is times. Do we all agree with that? Yes. So is three being times with K only? Yes. No. No. Bracket means that this operation is carried out to the whole thing. So the three needs to be multiplied with K and three needs to be multiplied with positive two. So this is how I write it. So first equals because the next step is going to be equal to the first one. So everything outside the bracket gets multiplied with everything inside, inside the bracket. bracket. So 3 times k will be written as 3k. 3K, 3 times 2 is six. plus or minus? Plus. Plus. plus 6. So you write plus 6. Easy? Yes. No, these ones are easy. Now, 6 times 3? 18. 18 what? Yeah. M. Plus k. No, not six plus k, k plus six k. six k. So everything outside the bracket gets multiplied with everything In the inside, bracket. inside the bracket. Yeah. Question. Um, for three k plus two, yep. wouldn't that be five? No, it's three k plus three times two, which is six. Oh, so that's a times thing. Yes, we're timesing everything outside the bracket with everything inside, inside. the bracket. And can I do anything further? Are there like terms? No, no. So we can't add them because they are not like terms. Like terms. If there were any like terms, we would then add or subtract. Right? Next one. Now, negative 4 times x. Negative 4 x. And then, negative 4 times negative 9. When two negative numbers multiply together, the answer is? Positive. positive. So negative 4 times negative 9? Plus 36. So you have to be careful of the sign. Now, again, there's nothing between 5 and the bracket, so it means the times. Yeah. However, there's a plus 11. So do you think this 5 is times by this 11? No. no. So the multiplication process stops here. And the 11, do we just eat it or get rid of it? No. We keep writing it. And then, 5 times P? 5P. 5 times negative 1? Negative 5. And then we keep writing the plus 11? Are there any like terms? Yes. yes. Negative 5 plus 11 is? 6. six. That's, six. That's it. Simple? Simple. Good. Now, the difficult ones. What if we have two brackets? We use a process called FOIL. Have you heard of that before? No. Okay, then you need to pay attention. F means first terms, O stands for outer terms, yep, I stands for inner terms, and last terms. So this tells us, this is an easy way to remember the order in which we're going to multiply. So A will first be multiplied with both C and 3, and then negative 5 will be multiplied with both C and 3. That's the process. So, first term in first bracket with the first term in the second bracket. So, A times C is? A, C. Then, outer terms, that means A and 3. Can you see there the outer terms in both brackets? So, A times positive 3 is? Plus 3. Do we write A3 or 3A? 3A. Well done. Plus 3A. Then, Inner terms, that means now negative 5 is going to be multiplied. Negative 5 times C. And then last terms. Last term in this bracket with last term in the other. Negative 5 times 3? Negative 3. So, if you want to use FOIL, you can remember it that way. First term, outer terms, inner terms, last terms. How I remember this is as first, the first number here will be multiplied with these two. Then the second one will be multiplied by these two. Adding like terms. Is there an A C term? No. Is there an A term? Yeah. Is there any other C terms? Yes. yes. Wait. A C and five C. No, they're not like terms. This is A times C and this is just C. Oh, okay. Like terms need to have the exact same pronoun. Yes. 